In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can automate your Pinterest pins in 10 minutes or less without doing any extra work using repurpose.io, TikTok, and Pinterest. Let's get started. Now, in order for this to work, many people who use repurpose.io start their workflows with TikTok. So I, I do want to start our workflows with TikTok to make sure that we are mostly talking to the people that use our software. And the reason that we do that is because short form content is king right now. And this short form content can be distributed to all different platforms. And one of those platforms is Pinterest. So basically what we want to do is connect TikTok to repurpose.io. Repurpose.io is the main part here because it is the thing that connects one platform to another that automatically distributes it. So you don't have to do any extra work. So this is going to be extremely important here. Once we connect TikTok to repurpose.io, we also want to connect Pinterest to repurpose.io so that this can be the destination that we have for when we do a TikTok video, it will automatically be posted to Pinterest as a Pinterest idea pin. If you've never heard of repurpose.io before, you can definitely check it out in the link down below, start a 14 day trial. You don't have to put in your credit card information or anything. Basically, we make it easy to automate your content workflow, one post to multiple platforms. So a lot of it is a little bit setting it up, but once you set it up, it's very hands off. And I'm gonna show you today how to do that. But first, I wanted to show you that a lot of people literally just only sign up for repurpose.io because of TikTok. It automatically posts your TikTok videos to all your social media channels without the watermark and I'm gonna be showing you here in a second all the different platforms you can post it to. So this is where you can really post it to and we are going to be focusing mostly on this one down here, TikTok to Pinterest. So you can do TikTok to Facebook, to YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, Snapchat, SoundCloud, Twitter, LinkedIn, Podcast, Google Drive, Dropbox, um, but we're mostly gonna be focusing on the TikTok to Pinterest. Now, why do I think it's so cool to automatically publish to Pinterest. Like why Pinterest? Like whenever I first heard about Pinterest, it's because my wife was scrolling on her phone, looking up like done for you, home gardening, things for birthdays. And so I never really thought as a marketer, wow, Pinterest is a really cool option, right? But I just wanted to show you just a little bit of statistics that Pinterest is one of the most evergreen content traffic sources that you can create. Um, it has one of the best shelf lives compared to other platforms. So. Like a tweet is only relevant for 24 minutes. Facebook post is about 90 minutes, but um, Pinterest is a lot longer. People referred by Pinterest are 10% more likely to make a purchase on e-commerce than users of other networks. So a lot of times people go on Pinterest looking to buy stuff, right? Um, they're fairly even distributed amongst ages. So you have 18 to 29, 30 to 49, and 50 to 64. It's pretty spread out and more and more people are always getting on Pinterest, kind of like myself. It is predominantly female, but there are more men joining Pinterest every day. And right now there's 317 million monthly users, which is pretty insane. So if you want some proof, this is my Pinterest account. Whenever I was doing this strategy, you can see that, you know, some videos get very little and, and it has a lot to do with search because Pinterest is a search engine, not like some kind of virality thing, like a lot of different social medias. So a lot of times people are actually like searching in Pinterest, like, Hey, and then that's what the title is. That's why the title is so important as well. But you can see some videos get little views. Some get close to a thousand, some get more than a thousand. And then in some in um, instances, we actually get quite a bit more, right? So that's why Pinterest is a really, really cool option that I feel like a lot of people just kind of overlook. So when you get into your free trial, there are two prerequisites. You need to go to the connections tab. When you first start and log in, you won't have any of these workflows yet. If you're brand new, you go to the connections tab and you go to the top right and you click add a new connection. You want to make sure that you connect your TikTok account as the source. And then you also want to connect your Pinterest account. So you can just literally click on Pinterest, right? And you just name it and then you connect it and it will, you know, let you log into your Pinterest account. So it's pretty simple. Once you have both of those platforms connected, you simply just go to the top right and you do create a new workflow and you can name it whatever you want. I just like to try to organize it like um, TikTok to Pinterest workflow. 
then you can name whatever you want. You choose a source type, which will be TikTok, because you'll be posting on TikTok and it will automatically get published over to Pinterest. And then you can choose which TikTok account. I only have one, so you can just do next. The action that you wanna do is you wanna upload the video. You don't wanna convert it to um, video to audio. So you just wanna do upload video and you wanna do full video. Um, you don't wanna do snippets. So you wanna make sure that those two are highlighted there and then you click next. And then as the destination, you put Pinterest and then you can actually choose which board you have. So if you have multiple boards on Pinterest, you can choose which one, it doesn't really matter. Or if you wanna create a new board, you can actually just name it here and create a new board. And then you press done. As you see right here, um, the workflow is ready to go. It's TikTok to Pinterest workflow. Um, there's a couple of things that I'd like you to take, take a look at. First of all, if you go to the cog on the right side, there's some extra options. So I always have original video, no resizing. I don't want captions into it. You can actually add an intro file and an outro file. So if you want to make an outro file of a video of you saying, hey, thanks for jumping on my Pinterest account, follow for more um, valuable education information. You can totally do that, which is really cool. You can actually put in a default Pinterest link. This is really important for anybody who's trying to um, grow an email list or anything like that. You wanna put in your link here because every video can have the default Pinterest link in there um, and get that traffic to a certain website that you want to. So this is really cool. Okay. And then also you might want to select auto. This is what I have. When you click auto, you can actually choose when do you want to auto publish your content? You can have it auto publish as soon as possible. Like right when you post a TikTok video within two hours, it will be on Pinterest. So you can do that option or you can base it on a publishing schedule, whichever one you want to do. But you, um, if you do it with a publishing schedule, you can always have it sending old content as well. So you can choose these options. It's kind of a lot of options, but it's really cool because you can actually set a publishing schedule and say, hey, I only want my Pinterest pins to go Mondays between 9 and 11 or Wednesdays between 12 and 2 p.m. And then you can, if you only want those days, then you can enable auto publish. For me, I don't care. Um, I just want my videos on Pinterest because it is, like I said, a search platform. So people are searching for those videos and those topics. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this. If you have any questions about Pinterest pins being automated and getting those results like I showed you before, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if not, go ahead and check out repurpose.io. It can definitely make your life easier. It can get you more traffic on different websites that you probably have not really investigated too much before. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.